ever pondered the world of the rich and famous, the hidden luxuries that come with financial freedom. Wealth isn't just shiny cars and grand mansions, it's about freedom to pursue passions without worrying about daily tasks. It's about creating passive income so money works for you, allowing you to enjoy luxuries while investments grow. Picture having personal assistants, private chefs, security, wealth management teams. Imagine jetting off to exclusive resorts, amassing rare art, and availing personalized health services. Wealth gives the freedom to live life on your terms and to experience a world most only dream of. Welcome back to Wealth Minds Elite, the place where we redefine success one elite mind at a time. Imagine having an army of professionals just to manage your schedule. Welcome to the world of executive and personal assistants. These are not your everyday assistants who merely manage your calendar. No, these are seasoned professionals who take delegation to an entirely new level. In the luxurious lives of the wealthy, executive assistants or EAs are the gatekeepers to their time, orchestrating a symphony of appointments meetings and events with the precision of a Swiss watch. Personal assistants, on the other hand, are the conductors of their personal lives. From organizing private jet travel to ensuring the pantry is stocked with their favorite rare tea, these PAs ensure that every aspect of their employer's life runs as smoothly as a well-oiled machine. So, while the rest of us juggle our own daily tasks, the rich have a whole team to share the load. It's a fascinating glimpse into the world of luxury services. While we manage our own schedules, the rich delegate, and while we're on the topic of delegation, why don't you delegate that subscribe button a click? What if you never had to cook a meal, yet always had your favorite dish on the table? Imagine a world where the aroma of your preferred cuisine wafts through your home, precisely when your stomach starts to rumble. That's the world of the wealthy where personal chefs are on hand to whip up culinary masterpieces tailored to every whim. Personal chefs are more than just kitchen maestros. They are custodians of health, ensuring meals match dietary preferences and nutritional needs. They are privy to the secrets of the spice rack, capable of transforming mundane ingredients into a gastronomic experience. Whether it's a low-carb, keto-friendly breakfast, a gluten-free pasta for lunch, or a five-course gourmet dinner, the personal chef has it covered. They also cater to the most exotic palates, perhaps whipping up a truffle-infused risotto one day and a Japanese omakase the next. Luxury isn't just about material possessions, it's about experiences. And what better experience than to savor the world's finest cuisines in the comfort of your own home? Eating out is for the masses. Personalized cuisine is for the elite. Ever felt the need for a private army? When you're wealthy, it's just another Tuesday. When your bank account resembles a phone number, ensuring personal safety becomes a primary concern. It's not just about hiring a burly bodyguard anymore. The world of the affluent is all about private security details, bulletproof vehicles, and yes, even private military services. Imagine cruising in a car that could withstand a bomb blast or having a team of highly trained professionals who could give James Bond a run for his money, ready to swoop in at the first sign of danger. That's the reality for those with deep pockets. These private security services are not just about protection. They also offer peace of mind, enabling the wealthy to go about their lives with less worry. It's about creating a secure bubble, a fortress of solitude, if you will, where threats are kept at bay. Safety first, but with a touch of luxury, of course. Why bother about public image when you can hire professionals to do it for you? It's an intriguing question, isn't it? In the world of high net worth individuals, public image is everything. And managing such an image is not just a walk in the park. It's an art form, a careful orchestration of public perception. That's where publicists and PR teams come in. These professionals are the architects of a rich person's public persona, crafting narratives, handling media relations, and smoothing out any wrinkles that might tarnish their client's reputation. They're the invisible hand that guides the spotlight, ensuring it always hits the right angle. They manage the flow of information, keeping the unwanted details out of the public eye while highlighting the accomplishments and philanthropic efforts. So when you see a wealthy individual in the news, remember there's a team working tirelessly behind the scenes. Remember, all publicity is good publicity when you're rich. And remember, if not rich yet, subscribing to our channel is absolutely free. 
In a digital world, the wealthy are not just physically, but also virtually secure. Imagine, if you will, a fortress of firewalls and encryption, a moat of meticulously crafted code. This is the realm of advanced cybersecurity solutions. For the affluent, data protection is not just a luxury, it's a necessity. Their personal and business data are the golden goose, housing everything from financial information, investment strategies, to proprietary business secrets. A breach would not just mean financial loss, but potentially a full-blown scandal. To safeguard this treasure trove of information, the rich invest in state-of-the-art cybersecurity solutions. They enlist the help of elite teams, armed with the latest technological weapons, to ward off digital pirates. These teams operate round the clock, ensuring that every byte of data remains under lock and key. The mantra of the digital age for the wealthy is clear. To protect wealth, you need to protect data. Managing wealth isn't a task for the rich. It's a job for their private wealth management teams. In the world of the affluent, having a team solely dedicated to managing and growing their wealth is not just a luxury, it's a necessity. This isn't about stashing money under a mattress. No, this is about strategically planning and investing to ensure financial success. These teams are more than just financial advisors. They're architects of wealth, sculptors of financial landscapes, crafting opportunities that only the privileged few can tap into. They navigate the complex maze of investment opportunities, from real estate to stocks, and even the burgeoning world of cryptocurrencies. Their role is quintessential in wealth creation often using strategies and tools that aren't available to the ordinary investor. It's not about how much you earn, but how smartly you manage it. The wealthy understand that money isn't just to be earned, it's to be grown. Wealth creation is about smart management, not just earning. Why fly commercial when you can have your own private jet? Now, that's a question the wealthy don't have to ponder on. For the elite, private jets aren't just about luxury, they're about saving time and maintaining privacy. Imagine bypassing the hustle and bustle of commercial airports and instead stepping out of your car straight onto your private jet. In addition, the wealthy also have access to exclusive resorts and closed off geographies. These are places where privacy is guaranteed and the ordinary rules of access do not apply. Think of it as having your own secluded paradise away from the prying eyes of the world not only does this give them a chance to unwind in peace, but it also serves as a status symbol among their peers. So, for the wealthy, private jets and exclusive resorts are more than just about comfort and luxury. It's about convenience, privacy and status. Because time is money and privacy is priceless. And remember, if you can't afford a private jet, subscribing to our channel is absolutely free. Collecting rare items isn't just a hobby for the rich, it's a profession. For those with an abundance of wealth, acquiring the rare, the unique, and the luxurious is more than just a pastime. It's a testament to their financial freedom and an aspect of their wealth creation strategy. To aid in this endeavor, wealthy individuals often hire specialists. These experts are like treasure hunters of the modern era, using their vast networks and extensive knowledge to track down and acquire rare items. From fine art by renowned artists to vintage cars, from precious gemstones to first edition books, these specialists find them all. These experts not only find the items, but also ensure their authenticity, manage the acquisition process, and sometimes even oversee the safe transportation and storage of these treasures. It's all about passive income and wealth building, after all. Because when you're rich, the world is your shopping mall. Health is wealth and the wealthy take it very seriously. It's no surprise that those in the upper echelons of society have a keen focus on maintaining their physical well-being. Personal trainers, nutritionists, and private medical services are just some of the resources they utilize. Imagine having a personal trainer on speed dial, ready to tailor your workouts to your exact needs and goals. Someone who knows your strengths, weaknesses, and what motivates you. This isn't a luxury. It's just another Tuesday for the rich. Then there's the nutritionist, a guru of gastronomy. They're not just planning meals. They're designing a dietary strategy to fuel the body, boost energy levels, and help their clients lead a healthier life. 
And let's not forget the private medical services. Wealthy individuals often have a team of doctors and specialists at their disposal, ensuring their health is monitored and managed with the utmost care. Because in the world of the wealthy, fitness is not an option, it's a lifestyle. Mental and spiritual well-being is a luxury that the rich don't skimp on. For the high net worth individuals, the pursuit of peace and tranquility is as important as amassing more wealth. It's not uncommon to find them engaging the services of private therapists, priests, or life and meditation coaches. These professionals play a pivotal role in helping the affluent deal with the stresses that come with wealth creation and management. They provide a safe space for them to express their fears, anxieties, desires, and even their deepest secrets. These confidants help them navigate through life's complexities, guiding them towards achieving a balanced and fulfilling life. Private therapists offer personalized mental health support, while life coaches provide guidance on personal development and achieving life goals. Spiritual advisors, on the other hand, cater to the spiritual needs, offering a sense of direction and purpose. In essence, these services are part of the rich's arsenal in maintaining their overall well-being. Because wealth isn't just about material possessions, it's about inner peace. When you're wealthy, you ensure everything, even your life. It's not an exaggeration, but a reality. Life and property insurance is not a luxury. It's a necessity for the affluent. What's different is the scale and the scope. The rich don't just insure their lives, they insure their yachts, their private jets, their rare art collections, and even their wine cellars. The insurance policies they opt for aren't your run-of-the-mill packages. They are extensive, customized, and cover scenarios that you might find straight out of a Hollywood movie. Think about kidnap and ransom insurance or policies that cover the depreciation of a classic car. It's not about paranoia, it's about being prepared. After all, when you've spent a lifetime building your wealth, you want to ensure it's protected against all odds, wouldn't you? It's about financial literacy, wealth building, and securing financial freedom. Because when you're rich, you don't take chances, you take insurance. Hake, where do the wealthy unwind? In their exclusive clubs, of course. Country clubs and members-only societies are more than just places for the rich to sip champagne and play polo. They're hallowed halls where business deals are struck, alliances are forged, and wealth secrets are shared. Picture a labyrinth of luxury, where each door leads to another realm of opulence. Now these aren't your run-of-the-mill social clubs. They're exclusive havens offering unparalleled experiences, from private golf courses and yacht clubs to art societies and wine clubs. They're places where the rich can enjoy their financial freedom and network with like-minded individuals who are also on the journey of wealth building. But it's not all about business. These clubs provide a sanctuary for personal enjoyment too an escape from the hustle and bustle, a space for leisure and relaxation, a realm where they can indulge in their passions and hobbies. Because when you're rich, leisure is a luxury you can afford. Raising kids is a job. For the wealthy, it's a job for their elite nannies. You see, when you're swimming in a sea of wealth, you don't just hire any nanny, you hire elite nannies. These aren't just your regular run-of-the-mill caretakers, oh no. These are highly educated, multilingual professionals, often armed with degrees in child psychology, early education, or even multiple languages. Their role extends beyond just watching the kids. They're responsible for shaping the minds of the next generation of millionaires. From teaching toddlers Mandarin to ensuring the teens are versed in financial literacy, these nannies are a crucial cog in the machinery of wealth creation. They're the unseen professors at home who ensure the continuity of financial success. So, while most of us were learning our ABCs from cartoons, these privileged kids are getting a head start on their path to wealth. Because when you're rich, education starts at home. The world is their playground, and they have the passports and offshore accounts to prove it. You see, for the wealthy, holding multiple passports is not just a symbol of status, but it's a practical solution for a life that spans across continents. It's about financial freedom, convenience, and global mobility. Now let's talk about offshore banking. It's not just a James Bond movie trope. It's a real strategic move for wealth creation and preservation. Offshore banks offer a level of privacy, protection, and often favorable tax conditions. They allow for diversification of assets, 
and provide a safe haven in times of economic or political instability. These tools are not just about being rich, they're about maintaining and growing that wealth. It's about a broader perspective on wealth building and financial literacy. Money knows no borders and neither do the wealthy. They are world citizens and their financial strategy reflects that global perspective. Love is priceless, but for the wealthy, it's another exclusive service. Picture this, a realm of dating where financial freedom and wealth creation aren't just aspirations, they're prerequisites. High net worth dating services are exclusive platforms where the wealthy meet potential partners who match their lifestyle and financial status. Imagine a world where everyone is financially literate, where wealth secrets are common knowledge and passive income is the norm. In this sphere, the conversation isn't about making ends meet, but about wealth building and possibly how to become the next millionaire. These dating services offer more than just a platform to find love. They provide an avenue for like-minded individuals to connect, to share ideas, and to build relationships that could potentially lead to financial success. They're not just about finding a partner, but finding a partner who understands the nuances of wealth and the pursuit of financial freedom. Because when you're rich, even love comes with a price tag. So, what does it mean to live a life of luxury? The answer might seem obvious at first glance. It's the personal chefs preparing meals to your exact taste. It's the private security details safeguarding your peace of mind. It's the private jets whisking you off to secluded resorts and the personal item tracker procuring rare art and collectibles for your enjoyment. But the concept of wealth is more intricate than a mere collection of high-priced services and possessions. It's about more than just the tangible. It's about the intangible benefits that financial freedom can bring. Wealth, in its truest sense, is not about hoarding or spending, but about creating. It's about leveraging resources, whether those be time, money, or connections to generate more. It's about financial literacy, understanding how to grow your assets, how to create passive income streams, and how to protect what you've built. Wealth is not an end in itself, but a means to an end. It's a tool that, when used wisely, can unlock doors to experiences, opportunities, and freedoms that are otherwise closed off. It's about having the means to live life on your terms, to pursue your passions without constraint, and to share your prosperity with those around you. That is the essence of wealth creation. Financial success, then, is not about reaching a certain dollar amount in the bank. It's about achieving a state of being where money is no longer a concern, but a tool at your disposal. It's about reaching a point where the services we've discussed today are not extravagances, but components of a well-managed lifestyle. And so, we return to our initial question. What does it mean to live a life of luxury? Perhaps the true luxury of wealth lies not in what it can buy, but in the freedom it offers. So, what's your take on this? Comment below. We're eager to hear your thoughts. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Until next time, keep living the dream, Elite Mind.